Okay, to um, help you with um, the uh, facing math activity that I left with you to complete uh, with the sub, you just need to know your properties uh, with chords, tangents, and angles dealing with the circle. So all the color notes that you have, you should use that to help you to assist you. And it's just applying the properties. Some of these do not require math, but you can use the space that they have in the box to uh, get the answer. Like for example, on number one, they're showing you here with the tick marks that your two chords are equal distance from the center. And if they're ever equal distance from the center, okay, I'm going to show you, equal distance, okay, then they're going to be congruent. The chords are going to be congruent. Okay, so basically it's just trying to show you that X would have to be A. And so this is what you're going to draw on your face, that type of hair, uh, since the chords are going to be congruent, so X would have to be 5, which was A. Now, whenever we should remember, whenever we see this box on number 2, the radius is perpendicular to a chord, it's going to bisect. Again, you're just using the property, okay? Um, you have a perpendicular bisector. Okay, you have a perpendicular bisector when dealing with chords and radius, or a diameter and a radius. So, obviously you should see X is going to be 4. So it says draw the following ears. And then here we're looking at the fact that they gave us a chord, but again, we know if there's a box there, it bisects a chord. Now they're saying the whole chord is 8, so now we know this is 4 and 4, and now we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the radius, which is the x, or the hypotenuse in the, in the triangle. So you're going to be using your properties. If they don't have a, a right triangle drawn, then you might have to swing the radius. Like for this example here, I might have to redraw the radius over here, just like move it around. Uh, that now becomes 10. Uh, this becomes 6. And Or I don't have to find the x. Oh, the x is the short leg. Okay, the x is this leg here. So again, you're using Pythagorean theorem to find that. So we should be using Pythagorean theorem or equal distance, a perpendicular bisector. And then, then you have some sections dealing with angles. Remember what happens when the angle, when the vertex is in the center, okay? So this is a central angle on 7. Okay, the central angle is congruent or equal to the arc, the intercepted arc. So this one I'm hoping you see is B, okay? Uh, understand when you have a diameter on number 9, uh, I spelled that wrong, sorry. It cuts the circle in half, all right? So that's going to help you there. But you do also on 11 have an inscribed angle. This is what we did on Friday because the vertex is on the circle, and so when you have an inscribed angle, it is equal to half the intercepted arc. This was on our notes that we did on Friday. Look at the video that I posted on Moto. If uh, you cannot recall, watch the video again. So here you're just going to use your relationships or all that you know about angles, tangents, because um, on the back, you have some more inscribed angles. Uh, you have a tangent. A tangent on number 18 is when it only intersects the circle at one point. But the tangent property says that the tangent will always be perpendicular to the radius. So if they don't put the box there, you are expected to put the box there. So. If it's a tangent, you got you now have a box and you have a right triangle. So you're going to use what you know about right triangles. You're going to use Pythagorean theorem because um, that's what is used with the right triangle. Uh, you're going to use your 90 and two acute angles because uh, the remaining two angles are complementary. So um, Pythagorean theorem, like for example, on number 21, I can add these together to get the hypotenuse. So this would be 13. So instead of doing uh, Pythagorean theorem worrying about, oh, what's this x here? I can do x squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared, and then find that missing leg. 
And sometimes you might have a quadratic. So you might have to plug it in and check, guess and check. So if it's Pythagorean theorem, then it should work, okay? The sum of the leg square should equal to the hypotenuse square. So hopefully that'll help you with some of these. You do have some radicals. I know you can work this out. Um, this is due. Turn it in at the end of the period. Thank you.